New tonight, dozens of dead animals dumped on the side of the road. Most of them found off of Imboden Road in Adams County between DIA and the Front Range Airport. And that is where 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live tonight and asking questions that got authorities to act fast. Jacqueline? Yeah, we wanted to know who would deal with the pile of rotting pig carcasses found over by that bridge back there. And how did they get there in the first place? A warning, some of these images are disturbing. A grisly discovery on the side of a rural Adams County road. Pigs and pigs stacked on top of each other. I mean, babies and adults. In all, 35 pig carcasses. Neighbor Bruce Rogoski raised his pigs himself, so when he saw the carcasses. I just can't figure out why anybody would do that. If you can't take care of your animals, then what's the sense in having them? Investigators tell us it appears someone dumped here on at least two separate occasions because of the different stages of decomposition. Other than that, they don't appear to be mutilated by any means, and because of decomposition, we're just not sure what happened to him. While he says this is rare, when we started driving around, we found another dump site a few miles away with goats, a pig, and other animals stuffed in plastic bags. I think somebody either had them killed because they couldn't afford paying for their food or some kind of illnesses so that, and they couldn't afford to have them picked up, so they just took them and dropped them off over here. There was confusion about who was responsible for the cleanup, but after we started asking questions, the Adams County Sheriff's Office brought in a company to deal with the mess. Thank God. That spreads diseases, and I don't want my pigs getting sick. The company that cleaned up both of those sites today tells me that when the economy is bad, they see dumps just like this more often. The health officials tell me they do not plan to test the animals to determine how they died. Reporting live in Adams County, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.